channel. Today I'm going to be going through my 2023 Hobonichi Weeks initial setup. Um, I actually won't be moving into this until January, but I have kind of already got this set up. I just thought I would film mine. I've been loving watching everyone else's. So um, to start off, this is the Hobonichi Weeks Mega. And this is in the color, I believe, tropical yellow. And this is the Japanese version. This is a clear cover from the Hobonichi website. It's either from the Hobonichi website or it's from Jet Pens. You can get it on either um, site, but it's the Hobonichi brand of the clear cover. So I don't have any like pocket deco or anything or anything here yet. But I just want to show you what I do have for my initial setup. So this is just completely bare. This. So these are, um, let me see here. So all of the scripts are from a big sheet that I had from High Paper Clouds. And then the little stars are from samplers from Paper E Planning. And... These larger, like, cross-type stars, they're from a sheet from Taylor Ryan Designs. And I do have a code with uh, Taylor's shop. It's Cassie15, and I'll put that down below. Um, and then these Yun Yang stickers, they're also from a sampler from Papery Planning. But these samplers are, are older. I don't think she offers them anymore. They're PR samplers. And I got this idea, like this whole collage of like quotes from Smitten Agenda on Instagram, Tayana. Um, I saw her do this in one of her videos for her 2023 Hobonichi Weeks with um, different scripts, but I thought it looked so good. <laughs> I thought it looked so good. And this page in my current weeks, I actually, I had some like journaling cards there, but throughout the year, I've kind of just taken them out taken them off and I didn't really know exactly what to do with this page so I thought this was just like a really cute way of adding a little something without like adding journaling cards or something to make it bulkier I just thought this this was like a really cute idea so I completely got that from Tayana and this is a vellum from Queen City Designs Co it I had to get it in personal size that is why it's shorter because personal size is a little bit shorter than Hobonichi Weeks, but it's wider. So I had to cut some off the edge, which is why the her name isn't there. Queen City Designs Co. isn't there. And I just scotch taped that in, which probably wasn't my best idea. I should have used washi tape, but oh well. And 1995 is just the year I was born, so... This page, I decorated a little bit. Um, this word of the year sticker is from Papery Planning. My word of the year for next year, 2023, is consistency. And you can uh, custom order this from Papery Planning. I really love this idea. It's like a small sheet full of like a bunch of word of the year stickers like this. And I believe you can choose two words if you want. Um, so yeah, I put that there and then this moon is from a sheet from Taylor Ryan Designs again. And then these three butterfly stickers are from samplers that I got a while ago. I believe they're from Pretty Planner Crafts. Now really quickly, I'm going to say where I got these tabs. These are from Shop Gracie Edits. I do have a code with Shop Gracie Edits. It is Cassie10. I will put it down below. And these are not removable, just so you know, um, they stick on. And this is just her like little cursive script. And I think it's super cute. And okay, so these dots are from Sweet Caress. And I believe I went with the color Oatmeal. I think this is Oatmeal. And I just wanted to kind of spice up this page a little. I don't really use this page functionally. Um, so then I also put in these scripts because I had them already and I didn't really know what to use them for and I thought this would be cute to kind of add some design, some flair to the page. 
Um, these are from the planner spot. And I, like I said, I don't really use this functionally. If I needed to reference it, I still can. And I don't have anything here. I think I will eventually want to just cut out, kind of cover this up. But I don't know what to put there yet. So I haven't put anything there yet. And this is just my normal grid washi. Um, if you just type in like black and white grid washi on Etsy, you'll find a bunch of shops that sell it. I used this washi specifically a lot in my this year's Hobonichi weeks for the same purpose to kind of tip in things and this is a freebie from EO Edits. This I downloaded in the personal size and I printed it at 105% and then I did just have to kind of cut it down a little bit um, and then I rounded the corners. Now this, I made myself on Canva. Um, I printed it to a color that I was trying to make it as similar as possible to the actual color of the paper, of the Hobonichi Weeks paper, like this cream color. But I could not find like an exact match, so I just did it like as close as I, as I could. Um, so I just wrote down the important dates like the holidays for next year and i basically just cross cross referenced um papery planning's 2023 holiday stickers with the planner spots um 2023 important dates freebie i just kind of cross referenced those and yeah just made that from from those two and then i just did the birthdays down here and I just used double-sided tape to tape that in. Now, this page I'm going to be diff using differently than my current one. My current one I used for daily spending. And actually, I only ended up doing it for like four or five months. And then I kind of dropped off. So I wanted to use this a little bit differently. So I'm going to be using this as a step tracker, um, which I know a lot of people do. I will be recording my steps and then when the year, or not year, when the month is over, I will be adding up all of the, all of the days that I did 10,000 steps or over. So I did 10K plus here and then I'll just, however many days, like for example, if I walk 10,000 steps or over for like, I don't know, 15 days, half the month, I would put 15 out of 31. I think there's 31 days in January, right? I don't know. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would put like 15 out of 31. And then these little arrows represent the rings from the Apple Watch. So if I closed out the move, I think this is the move the move ring so if I close that one out I will mark it here and then if I closed out the exercise one I will mark it down here as well and then the standing goal as well I will mark it here and then I think I'm going to add one with just like a circle that way if I close out of all three I'll just do a circle or something like that I haven't figured that out yet but um, basically, I'll be doing the exact same thing that I'm doing for the 10K steps, so I'll add them all up. So if I closed my move goal 20 days out of the out of January, then I'll do 20 out of 31, and so on for these. And then, like I said, I think I'm going to add like a um, some kind of symbol for all three of closing all three of the rings, and then I'll do the same exact thing. I'll just add them up and then do it out of 31 and so on for each month so i think that's how i'm going to do this um spread for next year and like i said i am going to be i am planning on moving into this in january so i i haven't done anything to the monthlies all i did was add my tabs uh, but i'm planning on using this the same way that i'm using it for my current weeks which is I'll do a tracker at the bottom, which I don't think I'll have enough room here, but I'll just do it up here, which I have done in this week's before. I think it was sometime over the summer. There wasn't enough room, so I did it up here. Um, 
and then so also I'll have some sort of tracker and then I normally just kind of use the other space as like decoration um so I think that's just kind of how I'll keep doing it at least that's the plan so far so I don't have anything written in any of these months and this planner goes all I have up until December tabbed out um, but this planner goes all the way until March, I think, of 2024. And then the weekly start. So like I said, I won't be using these weeks. The move-in time is next week. But this is the week that I plan on moving in. It's the week after Christmas, and I know I could wait until the full week full first week of January but I really want to be moved in for like January 1st like the first day of the new year I really want to be moved into my new book and that's on a Sunday so I'm just gonna move in for this week I think <laughs> so yeah none of these have anything written in any of them and this goes all the way until December 31st of next year, of 2023. And then this is where the notes pages start, where there's that page full of, um, well, mine had kanji, and then this page was like, it said like no or notes or whatever, and then it has like those lines with the numbers. And anyway, I covered both of those up, obviously the, both of those pages up, and my word of the year is consistency. And these are from these stickers. They're from Little Magic Prints. And I showed these stickers in my like little haul video that I did. I think it was the last video I uploaded of like the supplies that I wanted or felt were necessary for my 2023 weeks. I think I believe that was the last video I uploaded. So that's this is what I use them for. Again, that same grid washi. And then these pictures are all just from um, Pinterest that I pulled. And I don't know if I like, did something wrong, but these won't lay down flat. I just um, printed them on like really thin paper, not Tamoy River paper, because I couldn't, I couldn't get my Tamoy River paper to dry at all. So I just printed it on like the really thin, just normal copy paper. And then I double use double sided tape, like scotch tape. And I used a little bit of glue because I ran out of tape. <laughs> so I don't know, but like it won't really like lay flat completely, which is whatever, it's fine. But <laughs> so anyway, um these pictures kind of pertain to some of my goals and just kind of overall how I would like next year to like look or go or you know, just something that I like to look at just as a vision board type of thing. And then my first page here is my index, which I do have a tab here that says index. It's also from Shop Gracie Edits because she does offer these, the monthly ones, but she also offers custom ones. So yeah, so I put that here so it would go straight to my index. And I completely copied this from Lindsay Scribbles. Um, she did her index this way for this year, for 2022, and she posted a video about it, and I thought it was so smart, like, such a smart way to write down the data, because usually in an index, or at least from what I've seen, people do the number first and then put in the information, whatever you're indexing, but I think this is a really smart way to do the info first and then put the number, because sometimes you thread your pages together if it's like okay so say say my wish list I have one page set for it page 21 but what if I fill it up and then later in the year let's say page like 92 or something I need another I filled it up 21 I need another wish list and this is just where I'm at in my planner so my next wish list would be 92 so I would just put comma 92 that way when I look for my wish list, I'll know it's threaded between those pages. And I just think that's a really efficient way um, to to write down the information. So I completely copied her. <laughs> and I kind of split this into two, which is also what she did. Um, 
for more room there are 215 pages in the notes pages so it's kind of a lot and um, I don't plan on indexing every single thing but we'll see this is my first time using Omega so after that is my future dates which I plan to use the exact same way that I did for this current um, weeks which is I just write down all of my future dates here and then when it's time to set up my monthly I will go in here and look at which dates are for that month and I will write them down and then I will either cross out or highlight the dates once they're moved to the monthly so I reserved two pages for that and then my inbox, exact same way that I used it in here, which was if things, I'm sure, I'm sure you guys know like what an inbox is, just kind of like a brain dump area or just I write things down that I don't want to forget, but they don't need to be done so quickly that they need to be on my weekly or on my daily. So I just write them down here and then if they get moved or if they get done, I will just kind of write the symbol down accordingly and then once they're completely done I typically will just cross them out so there's that so then I just have my cycle tracker which is also a lot of this is inspired from Lindsay Scribbles um if you if you are familiar with how my 2022 weeks is set up it is also inspired from Lindsay Scribbles and I was really inspired by Lindsay Scribbles um spreads so I just wanted to give them a try for myself. And I'm just basically can kind of continuing off of that. I've There are certain adjustments that I've made for my 2022 weeks to this one. So I'll kind of talk about those differences a little bit as we go. Um, and then I have my skincare and hair care page, which I have it sectioned off for a start date, a finish date, and then this goes for skincare mostly if it's AM or PM, and then the product name, which I kind of like to just do this so I know which products are like in rotation, and this kind of also aligns with my health tracker. Um, in my 2022 one, I had a health tracker, but I also had like a separate skin log, which I combined them this time. So my health tracker will be everything, including like for skin. So that'll kind of align if if I read something that was going on with my skin. It'll, I can kind of look to see if there was like a product that I had just started or whatever. You know, it'll, I can kind of look back at this to see if maybe that affected my skin in any kind of way. So I just like to have a running list of that, I guess. Um, and then my health tracker, which just has the date, and then just the following information will go there. This is a, my workout tracker, also basically copied from Lindsay Scribbles, and there's just a spot for, or there's like all the months and then all the days, so there's a spot for every single day, and if I do like a workout for that day, I'll just write it in to the spot. There's some like empty spots down here. I haven't quite figured out if I want to put anything there. Um, I haven't decided, but for now, this is just the workout tracker. Then I have my weekly cleaning, which also, if you recognize, is basically just like Lindsay Scribbles, um, at least how she did it for, I think this year, 2022. Um, I kind of reevaluated some of my cleaning tasks and everything, so I just wrote those down there, and then I left some room just in case if things needed to be added or whatever, and then I also left this blank um, just in case I want to reevaluate re reevaluate for the second half of the year. I just kind of split up the week, so it goes from the 52nd week, the last week of the year, because that's the week I'm planning on moving into which is here the 52nd week because that's where the first lands on as I already like kind of talked about so it goes from fit week 52 to week 52 of the last week of 2023 so there's that and then I have my adulting slash monthly like tasks which I've also kind of combined and like streamlined um I think there were like a little too many things I was trying to track this year that I kind of 
have fallen off of and also don't think they were totally necessary um so i also added some like money like bills that aren't every single month because in this page with my daily spending up here i was doing bills so every single month i was writing down what bills were there and then if it was like a bill that doesn't happen every single month it i would write it into whatever month it was happening in like way ahead of time so i knew it was there well since i'm not doing that on this page anymore i don't really have a bill like a traditional bill tracker um for the bills that don't happen every single month that I could possibly forget about, I did write them here and then I used a zig dot marker, I believe in the color platinum, to mark when those bills should be either getting pulled out of my account or I need to be manually paying. So, and then I just, just some other tasks are there. And then um, I kind of revamped a little bit my... Um, goals section so i have a very similar spread in my 2022 weeks but i did a little thing a, a couple of things differently so i have a spot for my yearly goals which in my 2022 weeks i have a whole page dedicated to my yearly goals and i like broke it up into fourths so i had like personal health professional and i don't remember <laughs> i don't remember the last one but either way i broke it up that way this year, I'm not doing it that way. Um, I did kind of think of different aspects of my life when I was making like the goals, but I'm not like labeling them that way. I'm just kind of gonna write my my goals down, just like in a list format, and then my quarterly goals. In this year's um, spread, I did it. As, as I did my quarterly goals as a two two page spread, which I don't think I necessarily needed. Um, I instead did the two page spread for my monthly actions, which before my monthly actions was a one page spread. So it was my yearly goals, one page, quarterly goals, two page, and then it was my monthly actions, one whole page. I think I kind of would have liked more room to write a little things more like detailed in my monthly actions and kind of be able to have room to write notes and stuff like that. So that's what I did. I did the two pages for the monthly actions and quarterly goals. I mean, we'll see if this will be enough space, but this is just kind of what I figured out. Because when I wrote down my goals, my yearly goals in this planner, for this year when I was like brainstorming I the list is like not bigger than this so if it can fit in this week's in like however much room I'm just basically transferring it over so it should fit here and then we'll see once I start breaking down into like my quarterly goals but I just wanted more room for my monthly actions so that's what I made the two page spread for and then so it just goes from January to December and then here, my degree plan slash notes. I do have a very similar just like page in this planner. Um, but I in this planner, I did print out like my degree plan straight from like the website. And I printed it and then glued it in. This time I might just write it in. I might save space that way. I haven't decided. Um, but yeah, I just wanted kind of a dedicated page for this information. And then this page is basically just like my social media page. Um, again, I have a very similar section in this planner, except it was a two-page spread. This time I just condensed it. So these videos or these this tracker is just like a monthly tracker for videos that videos or reels that like I think I want to or that are consistently happening. So Next year, 2023, I plan on doing a flip, but I plan on doing a quarterly flip. So every three months instead of every single month like I was doing with this one. So I plan on doing a YouTube quarterly flip. So I'll mark that every quarter. And then a YouTube plan with me. I This year, I was liking doing it at least once a month. I've kind of stopped 
doing uh, that, but I, I think I would like to get back into that. So like once at least a month, so I'll mark that. And then my YouTube favorites, that's not a monthly thing, but I would like to see how often I'm doing it. And then my Instagram end of month reel, and that'll probably be once a month. So, and then I left some room in case I wanted to add more things that I want to consistently happen. And then this is just my content ideas for Instagram, I mean for YouTube, and then for Instagram. And then this page is just for my wish list. So exactly the same layout that I did in this planner, which is I have a spot for a check mark. I have a spot for the item and then a, the shop. If there's like a specific shop that it's from, I will write that here. And then my gift list and my gift, gift references in this planner are on two separate pages, but I combined them this time because I didn't have a lot on my gift list. So I just wanted to combine them that way. And I just have a spot for the check mark to check it off if I got it, the name of the person, the item, and then the shop if there is a specific shop. Gift references, I will most likely write down like 2022's Christmas gifts that I'm getting this year so that next year I can look back and be like, okay, I got that person this last year. Don't want to accidentally like repeat it. So this, I usually just have a spot for the person's name, what I got them, and then whether, like what it's for, like 2022 Christmas or birthday or whatever so that's what I have there and then here I have my planner cover inventory which is exactly the same as what I had in here I have a spot for the cover what date I received it and then if I just stash it what date it was de-stashed and then this is just my go-to Starbucks drinks which I have in here as well I'm just kind of mostly going to transfer them over. I'll probably reevaluate some of them, see if I even still like them, but then I'll just transfer them over, I think. And then this is my Starbucks to dry to try two pages, which is similar to what I have in here. Um except I think I have like four pages in here, but I think I'm just going to stick with just the two and then I don't I don't want to commit myself to too many pages right off the bat. So um and then yeah, and then it just goes straight into January, which I have marked the dates or the months off. December start, November. So each month gets 15 pages per month. And then I think that puts me at like, I don't remember exactly which page, but it puts me like around here, like 205, 206, somewhere around here, I think. And then I'll have some extra pages, but we'll see. Because like I said, I haven't ever used a mega. Um, I do want to try the daily logs, which are heavily, heavily, heavily inspired by Lindsay Scribbles. I didn't do that for this one. This Mine currently is a standard. So I didn't do that for that for this year, but I want to try it for next year. And I don't really know if I'll need 15 pages per month, but also just like for other collections and stuff like that um I want to treat this like a like a true like bullet journal so if I start doing like the daily logs and then I want I think of a collection or a list I want to start I will just do it on the next available page and um so this is the Japanese version like I said so this is all in Japanese I don't think I'll really be doing anything with this maybe a pen test page I don't know this page, my 100. Okay, so what I'm planning on doing with this is I am planning on writing down the things that I watch. Like if I watch any new TV shows or um, movies this year, I will write them down. Um, and then if I like read any books, I will write those down. The only thing I won't write down are like repeats. So I do have comfort shows that I, I like to repeatedly watch, but I think I'm going to stick to only writing down like the new things that I watch. So I can just kind of at the end of the year have a collection of things that I've seen, things that I've read, stuff like that if I want to add. Right now I'm thinking of like books, TV shows, movies, if there's anything else I want to add in, then I will. But for now, that's kind of what I'm um, thinking. And then this is just 
some like ref other reference pages that I can't read. Um, here, I know, I think this is a favorites page in the English um, version of this book, but since it's in kanji, I'm just going to use this as kind of like how I was using the My 100 page in this book, which was when I got a new pen, I would just kind of like write the pen name and use that as like a like a pen test of sorts like I'll write it wait a few seconds rub it and um like when I got new Tombos I would just swatch it write down the number so I think I'll use that for this for this book because the my 100 I'm using for something else because they're these are basically just like lines so I think I'll just use it for that and more like reference info and that's really basically it i don't really know what i'm doing with any of these other pages if i do anything we'll see and that's it that's the end of the book so um if you have any questions or yeah because i don't know if i explained everything properly so if i was confusing at all if you have any questions at all or comments please leave them down below um, if you liked this video, please like and subscribe. Um, if you want to see more from me, I do have an Instagram. Um, it's the same at as it is here on YouTube. And you can follow me there too if you'd like. And let me know down below which um, planners or planner you're thinking of using next year in 2023. And if you're using Hobany Two Weeks, are you waiting until January or are you moving in next week. Let me know. <laughs> I hope you guys have a really great day and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.